Hey guys, this is Rad and today I'm here with my cousin Hi And both we are going to do the, the language, language challenge. challenge So, what are the rules for this challenge are really simple We have here 11 Italian words which uh, he has to pronounce because I do know Italian and he doesn't And then at the bottom of the page here we have other 11 words Which are in this case half of them in Greek and half of them in German Because he knows those languages and I do not know them so, also let me know guys in the comment section down below if you speak these languages and if it was funny to hear our pronunciation because of course we do not uh, uh, speak those languages. I mean he doesn't speak Italian and I don't speak German and Greek. And also let us know if you like this kind of video and if you want us to try more, maybe other languages. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, let's get started, shall we? Yeah! Alright! So, we will start from the Italian words which he has to pronounce and I will of course leave also them on the screen here so you guys can read them and have a lot of fun hearing us uh, fail with the pronunciations. This is the first word that you have to pronounce which means ice in Italian and he has to try to pronounce it. <laughs> wait, wait. So. Yeah, you got to write the first uh, beat, so the first part is right, this is what you didn't get right. <laughs> Alright, so the, the correct pronunciation is ghiaccio, which means ice. Alright, so let's continue with the second word, we need to be uh, kind of fast because there are a lot of words that we have to pronounce. And this is a really long word, which means a number, it means 555, and he has to pronounce it, so good luck on that. Cinque ce cento cinquanta cinque. Wow, that, you nailed it, man. That was correct. Oh. All right, let's continue with the third one. This means spoon in Italian. Cucchiaio. Damn it, he knows to pronounce Italian. Like many other people, they don't know how to pronounce uh, the, the, like the last part of this word here. All right, let's continue with the fourth one. Come on. Damn it, he's nailing them. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. You got yeah, it right. Man. So, skuma means. Um, oh my god, I don't remember how to say it in English. All, all right, I will probably leave a something translated on the screen. Let's continue with the fifth one. This one should be a bit more difficult. Skogle. Skolere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am I am currently laughing, but he's gonna laugh at me when I will have to uh, pronounce the other words. No, you know yeah. it. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, to melt. It's the verb to melt. And how you pronounce it? Sciogliere. And it is actually sciogliere. So yeah, uh, you got right actually the first three words. So good job on that. So sixth one, sixth word that he has to pronounce in Italian is. This means sign, not the sign that you put on in front of a house, but more like a sign that can remain. For example, when you uh, scratch yourself, you have a sign that remains here. So, yeah. Senno. How? Senno. No, 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 you, you got it right. Uh, Senno. Senno, yeah. yeah You're going to become Italian, man. <laughs> All right, uh, word number seven. Lasciare. Damn it, he knows yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's correct. correct, yeah. All right, number eight. Probably this is a bit more uh, difficult. Scalacuare. <laughs> uh, all right, you got right the last part, but not the the first one. Scalacuare. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Scalacuare, which means actually I don't know if there is a translation in English of scalacuare. Uh, all right, number nine, which means to um. Sconsigliare. Wait, I don't remember it in English. It means to... Uh, Alright, I will leave a word somewhere here on the screen. So, yeah. Pronounce it? Sconsigliare. Sconsigliare, yeah, yeah. it's correct, yes. Yeah. And number 10, which Pros means... Okay, say it. Proscugare. <laughs> Proscugare. Alright, that, that's actually really funny. I, I, I think that a lot of Italian people watching this video, they are laughing right now. So, prosciugare. Prosciugare. Yeah, and prosciugare means to not to melt, but to uh, how you can I say like when there is water and you. And number eleven, which means ham, which is one of my favorite things to eat. How you pronounce it? Prosquito. Prosquito. <laughs> Prosquito. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Wait. Prosquito. <laughs> Prosquito. <laughs> All right. So 
Ham, you pronounce it prosciutto in Italian. So yeah, say it correctly now. Prosciutto. 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 Yeah. So I have to say that you were really good for a lot of these words here. I'm probably not going to be good with Greek and German because they are a lot more difficult than Italian. Yeah. So yeah, you are a bit advantaged here. Anyways, let's continue and let's go. Let's be begin with Greek. Uh, we have here the list with the Greek uh, words and also with the German words. And looking at them, they are so long and they look really difficult. So now you are going to have a lot of fun hearing me. And of yeah. course, all of the Greek and German people uh, watching this video right now. So the first one. This is actually written in Greek letters. I am reading in Greek letters here. So if the cameraman can come here, please record it here. You can see that here I have everything written in Greek and of course I have the German uh, words here. So yeah, it's gonna be more difficult for me. So, word number one. We have, we have written those yesterday, but of course I do not know the pronunciation and even if I knew it, I would have forgotten it uh, today. So, word number one in Greek is uh, V is N because I remember it from my little trip that I did in Greece. That, that I did in Greece. Antifetos. Antifeti. Antifeti. No. Uh, Antif. Antifeti. No. no. How, I don't know how to pronounce it. Antifetos. Antifetos. Oh yeah, the last one was an S, not an I. Yeah. N T D. Okay, D. N and T is D. D. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, what Greek language? The Greek language has like it has m a lot of these double letters, which if they are together, they compose another letter. All right. So uh, we don't know how to translate it in English, but I'll probably go at the end of the video and uh, uh, find a translation on Google Translate and then put it on the video. Word number two in Greek. That mean uh, moon. Okay, it means moon. Fe fe felari. <laughs> Fel felari. No. Felari. No. Fe. It's felari. No, no, no. Okay, say the pronunciation. Felari. What? It's L L double L. No, no, no. It's it's G G. Felari. Fe Fe All right. So moon it says. But double G. Yeah. G. Yeah. Okay, like G G. Yeah. Hard G. Oh, all right. Oh my God. You have a lot of these double letters that they, they completely change the word. Number three, all right, this is really long to read. This is, um, sac, wait, <laughs> don't, don't laugh. Saxaropla, saxaroplasteo. Saxaroplasteo. No, no. No? <laughs> Zaharoplasteo. Ah, Zaharoplasteo, wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, X is G, no? Y is it? It's Z. Okay, Zaharoplastio. Yeah. E, e and I is E. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so difficult. Why? Why Greek language? <laughs> Alright, and what does it mean? <laughs> oh, it's like bakery where they bake uh, cakes and stuff. So, cakery. Can I say cakery in English? Cakery. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Alright, number four Greek le uh, let not letter word. <laughs> oh my god. All right, wait, wait, wait. Don't laugh Greek no, people no, watching I, this video. I, don't laugh at me. You as well. Um Ferro Ferroi u Fivas. Ferroi vi Fivas. Fermosinfonas. Dang it. Fermosim Fermosinfonas. And what yeah. does it mean? Something about music. No. Something about heat. No. Fermo, fermo, thermal, no. Fermo, it's. Uh, fermo. It's hot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about. Okay. It's about. Thermo symphonas. Oh, it's. You told me yesterday, it's the solar yeah. panel. Yeah. Yeah, it's the solar panel, okay. But um, you have an Italian accent. Yeah, oh, yeah. so yeah, I'm, I'm basically reading Greek with the Italian accent. Uh, word number five is. Wait. Okay, N, is it N? No, it's no. E. Yeah. Yeah, this N is E. I it's really difficult because I have to remember what each of the letters is in the Greek language. All right, so ilio, ilio ba. What letter is this? A. Ah. No, no, no. The one ah. after A. Ah. S. S. Okay. Yeah. Ilio basilema. No. Ilio basilema. No. 
Ilio Vasilema. Oh, Ilio Vasilema. Okay, I got it similar, but with my Italian accent on it. No. So, okay, it means uh, sunrise. Uh, actually, no, 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 sunset. Yeah. How do you say it again? Ilio Vasilema. Ilio Vasilema. I'm the Greek, the Greek <laughs> guy here. Yeah. All right, and word number six is. It's a name. It's a name? Yeah. Okay, what name? It's a name. Okay. Xer. Xerin. Xer. Xeris. No. No? Xeris. No. Xerxit. Xerxis. What the heck is this? It's a name. Xerxix. Okay, Xerxis. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Xerxis. I don't know if there is a translation in, a translation in English of this name. If you guys, Greek guys watching this video know it, write in the comment section down below. Alright, let's go to the almighty German language. So I need to look really tough guy <laughs> when saying these words, when pronouncing these words. Alright, word number one. What does it mean? Don't say the pronunciation, just yeah, what it means. The, the speed. It means speed. Okay, it means speed. And you pronounce it, wait. Geschwindigkeit. Geschwindigkeit. No. No. Geschwindigkeit. Oh, I got it similar. Yeah. Okay. Geschwindigkeit. 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 Double double V. It's V. Okay. Uh, all right. I can't. Geschwindigkeit. Geschwindigkeit. Yeah. I know. The German guy. <laughs> right. The German engineer. <laughs> all right. So word number two. This is a um, uh, windscreen, no? For the, the for car, all yeah, of the car. Yeah, the car. All right? The front uh, window window of the car, windscreen, yeah. I think. All right! And it's really long as well. Windschulzscheibe. No. Windschulzscheibe. 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 Um, Scheibe. <laughs> Windschulzscheibe, all right. Yeah. Is it right? Ich bin Deutsch. Ich bin <laughs> the Deutschmann. <laughs> M meinen Mund ist Deutsch. <laughs> you see, you see that they know a bit of German because they they taught me German. So the third language uh, language, the third word means guinea pig, and oh my god, it's so long. Mer Schwein. Oh, oh, because Schwein. There is this Schwein in this yeah. word, which means pig. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Mer Schweinchen. No. Mer Schweinchen. No. It looks like Chinese. This one. Mer Schweinchen. Mer Meerschweinchen. 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 Yeah. Oh, the German guy. <laughs> All right, word number four. We have two words left for this video. What does it mean? Squirrel. Oh, okay. So this is a squirrel in German, and you say and you say it. Um, a wait, a two. O old with the double uh, with two dots is U. Yeah, but okay. Wait, H A Churchen. No, A, A and I. It's I I, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 like Ein. I Churchen. I Churchen. <laughs> it looks like Chinese to me. I Ein Hornchen. Ein Hornchen. No Ein Hornchen. Ein Hornchen. Ein Hornchen. I Horn. Wait wait. <laughs> I hyun hen. I hyun hen. Yeah. Alright. Good. Good job, man. And the last one, which is the most difficult, yeah. actually the longest one. What does it's it mean? A, it's a number. Oh, it's a number like uh, 555, like 500. Yeah, Alright, what number? Okay. So, um. Fun. 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 Der. Fun. Fun. Der. Fun. Sink. Wait, wait. Let me try it again. Fun fun der fun 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 sing. Fun fun der fun 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 sing. No. I don't know how to pronounce oh. this word. 555. What the heck is this? Looks like a tongue twister to me. How? <laughs> oh, wait again. 555. What? Well, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm going. Okay, wait. Fun fun sir. No, 500. Fun front hat. Ah, it's something about 100. Yeah. 500? Yeah. Ah, it's 500, 500, yeah. 5, 5, 55. Yeah, 55. My, my, my brain is melted. Yeah. It's melted down. You melt my brain with German. <laughs> All right. Fun, fun, fun set. No, no. 500. 500. 55. Fun, fun, fun set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna, to, I'm not gonna repeat it again. <laughs> So guys, that was the last word in German, yeah. and that was the language challenge. We had here Italian, Greek, and German language. 
Um, I don't know how it would be with other languages. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. And especially uh, guys that speak these languages here, German, Greek and Italian. I'm sure that you guys had a lot of fun. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, a really big like. And yeah. subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And if you are new, of course, because this is a really small channel and it has to grow. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end. And see you. Bye.